Azerbaijan has declared the second president of Armenia, Robert Kocharyan, and the third president of Armenia, Ser Sarkisyan, as wanted persons. The head of the Special Investigation Department of the Military Prosecutor's Office of Azerbaijan announced this to reporters of the Azerbaijani media. He told reporters that since February 1988, to incite ethnic hatred between Armenians and Azerbaijanis, the mentioned persons have held meetings with various Armenian organizations and institutions. Earlier last week, Azerbaijan announced its intention to arrest President of Nagorno-Karabakh, Araik Harutunyan. Today, the National Security Service of Nagorno-Karabakh issued a statement reassuring that the institution will continue to protect the President as well as other citizens of Nagorno-Karabakh. With regards to the newly set up parliamentary committee to investigate the circumstances of the 2020 Nagorno-Karabakh war, today former commander of the Artsakh Defense Army, Samvel Babayan, told reporters that former military commanders who are now part of the parliamentary opposition should come before the inquiry and testify. The parliamentary oppositional Armenia Alliance and I Have Honor blocs released a joint statement announcing that they will not participate in the inquiry. I say they are not oppositionists. They were leaders six months or four months ago. There is no one who wanted to serve and was prevented from doing so, Babayan said. Babayan, who held the post of secretary of the Artsakh Security Council during the war, says the commission will ask him questions as well. And tomorrow, Russian President Vladimir Putin will meet Azerbaijani President Ilham Aliyev in Moscow. This was reported by the Kremlin Press Service. After the talks, it is expected that the leaders of Russia and Azerbaijan will sign a declaration on allied cooperation and will raise relations between the two countries to an allied level. According to the statement, apart from bilateral relations, the implementation of the November 9th, 2020, January 11th, 2021, and November 26th, 2021 agreements will be discussed as as well as measures related to restoring economic and transport ties in the South Caucasus. And February 19th is the birthday of Armenian poet Hovanes Tumanyan. In Armenia, his birthday is known as Book Giving Day, a holiday aimed at encouraging people to read all types of books. Tumanyan himself had an infinite love for books. The Hovanes Tumanyan Museum in Yerevan houses the writer's very own library, which people can visit. Sivonet's team went to the museum to see how Yerevan's residents are celebrating this national treasure. And finally, Mikhail Khachatryan is the CEO of Wirestock, an Armenian IT company which works with visual content creators. In a conversation with Civilnet, he discusses the firm's recent challenges and what is necessary to create a successful IT company in Armenia.